Blend modes are new to Pinnacle Studio 25 Ultimate and Plus and are a fantastic tool for functional or creative effects. Blend modes allow you to control how the pixels on one clip affect or blend with any clips below. Blends can be used to easily remove white or black from a clip, such as a fire overlay or a dust overlay, which in this case both have pure black backgrounds. Or use blend modes to make the white or black background of a logo transparent. And then add bokeh or light leaks to tie the logo into the scene. Let's demonstrate how this works in practice with this black to white diagonal gradient image over the top of this colorful clip. Blend mode is accessed from a clip's properties, so I'll double click the gradient clip as this is the clip that I want to add some selective transparency to, to blend it with the clip below. Each blend mode works by comparing each pixel's color value with the color value of the same pixel of the clip directly below it, performing a mathematical calculation to see how those pixels should interact with each other and to what level they should remain opaque or become transparent. Each blend mode is then basically a different mathematical equation. Multiply, as the name suggests, multiplies the top clip's color values with the color values of the clip below, so the resulting image will always be darker. That means that white, which has no effect when multiplied, will disappear or become transparent, and lighter shades will be semi-transparent, while black remains fully solid. We can see this in the white part of this gradient. It doesn't affect the clip below at all, but the black part of the gradient has no transparency at all. Screen mode does the reverse. It effectively divides the top clip's values with the bottom clip's values. White is now completely solid and black is now completely transparent. Screen mode will always therefore create a lighter image. Overlay is a kind of a mix between multiply and screen. In bright areas, the result will be like screen and in dark areas like multiply. This results in an image that generally has more contrast and saturation, as whites and blacks are amplified, and the closer the blended clip is to 50% grey, the more transparent the blended clip will be, as we can see in the middle of this gradient. As it approaches middle grey, it has no effect on the clip below it. As we've just seen, blend modes also blend colours, not just black and white. So we can see in this blue to white gradient, set to screen, which lets lighter colours through, more of the pink background from the bottom clip is retained in the top left here. But if we set it to multiply, more of the darker blue from the blended clip comes through, as the blue is darker than the pink. The other blend modes are mostly variations on these three main categories, with more subtle differences. So how can we use blend modes for creative purposes? Here's a few examples. This clip holding the hand up to the sun is great to work with as it's almost entirely contrast, near black and near white. With this motion graphic wormhole clip beneath it, I can add multiply to the top clip and replace the white with the wormhole. Or I could apply the screen mode and have the wormhole within my subject instead. The same principle works with this woman doing yoga. And this sky and cloud background. Multiply will replace the blown out white background with the clouds, while keeping her silhouette mostly opaque. while screen places the sky within her outline. Blend modes also work really well with light leaks and bokeh clips, like this multicolored light clip on top of these two neon dancers. Because these dancers are on a pure black background, overlay works really well here. The light leak colours the dancer's suit as it moves across them.
A more subtle version of overlay is soft light, which doesn't impact the contrast as much. We can also use blend modes to get this double exposure effect. Here I have another dancer, with a motion graphic clip underneath that only shows through where the clip isn't white, so mainly on her body, or towards the end of the clip, on the beach that she's dancing on. I've used some colour correction on this clip to blow out the background to make it white. You can see I've added some exposure and a whole lot of contrast in the Basic tab, and I've also ramped this up even more in the Tone Curve tab to blow out the highlights even more. If I temporarily disable this curve, you can see that the sky isn't as blown out anymore and the motion graphic clip can be dimly seen in the sky. In fact, we could set the blend mode here to hard light, which adds even more contrast and makes the blend effect even more striking. So it's often worth playing with the blending options to see which one will work for your clip and with the color grading of your clips to enhance the blend mode you want to use. And of course, you can stack multiple blend modes on more than two clips. For example, I can use these two different clips to add interest to these dancers. The dancers were already performing against a white background when the clip was filmed, so I don't need to blow the highlights out to use screen mode on these gold-colored bands. but I wanted to emphasize the gold colors of the overlay. So I completely removed the saturation from the dancer clip so that it was black and white, and added a bunch of contrast so that my gold bands were more visible. I then paired these bands with an orange bokeh clip. set to Overlay, which pairs well with the gold bands and adds even more contrast to the dancers. When using blend modes to embed things like bokeh, it's worth bearing in mind how natural you want to make it look, and to be aware of some fundamentals of how light leaks usually occur when filming. I can remove the black background from this logo with screen to blend it into the scene below, and then add the same bokeh clip from before above both of them with the blend in this case set to soft light. Because the bokeh clip on its own has a warming orange hue, this works well blended with the setting sun in the background. And as bokeh naturally occurs by pointing a camera with a wide open aperture towards a light source, the fake bokeh I've added looks quite realistic, like it could have been produced by the camera filming the scene. I've used the same bokeh clip on this other logo scene as well. The difference here is that the background of the logo is white, so I've used Multiply instead of Screen to remove this background. And I've set the blend on the bokeh to a more extreme blend, Hard Light, so that it recolors both the clouds clip and the logo, so that they look as if they're part of the same image. There's also creative uses where you can use a blend mode on two instances of the same clip. I can change this nighttime northern light scene to effectively just display in the six primary colors, red, green, blue, cyan, magenta, and yellow, with the hard mix blend mode. It needs the duplication of the same clip below to blend with, remember, because if I turn the clip below off, you can see that the top clip no longer has anything to blend against, so it would otherwise be unchanged. Another creative use is to make a kind of video game effect, again with a copy of the clip directly below it. This effect works well on clips that have a lot of contrast and detail, and is achieved by adding a blur effect on the bottom clip. You can see it's set to a low blur amount of 8 in both horizontal and vertical directions. And then adding the darken blend mode to the top clip. So, have fun with the blending modes in Pinnacle Studio 25. There's a million different uses for them, and it's fun to experiment and find what works for you. Happy editing! <laughs>